Good day everyone, it's Sir Fadrik and welcome back to another adventure in the game development world. And today's quest will take us all the way over to space to code the venting system in the game Among Us. And this system is used by the imposters in the game to really move quickly between rooms and also hide when killing crew members. It's a really cool mechanic and I can't wait to start coding it. But first, a small disclaimer, everything used in this video as art is owned by the developers I'm using everything just for the purpose of this tutorial. And now for real, let's get started. To start the scene, I need to add the player movement and the camera movement. For basic and simple codes, the player movement move on the horizontal and the vertical axis, and the camera movement just follows the player wherever he goes. The two codes are pretty simple and I will include them in the project files, but will not be explained in this video. And if you try them out using Unity, everything works out fine. And I didn't have the patience to add colliders all over the map. So basically you can really eject yourself if you got bored from the game. So yep, it's a big bug, but it's not the purpose of this video. Now let's get started on the venting system. This system is one of the most complicated systems I featured on my channel. So bear with me and let's really focus on how the system was made. System contains three main parts, a single vent, the vent system that contain all the vents that are connected to each other and the arrow manager that will allow us to move from a vent to vent. And now we're gonna go through each component and try to explain the codes behind it. The first component is a single vent and this is represented by the vent class. The vent class contains a public ID of that vent in the vent system, the actual vent system that this vent is contained in and the, a small function to get the position of that vent to simplify the code later and the most important part here is the triggers we have the on trigger enter and on trigger exit and we can see here like in unity the vent is simply have a, a small collider trigger collider around it which detects the imposter when the imposter go in the vent it simply just send the send a notification to the vent systems to notify the system if the player can or can't enter that vent and you can notice a small if statement that will have to check if the player is in the vent or no because we are moving the whole player object, we need to make sure to not trigger these functions while the player is in the vent. And this is the first component in our project, the vent class. Now let's move on to the vent system. This system will contain a number of vent class that are connected with each other. And in Among Us, each vent is connected to all other vents in the same vent system. So it's very simple to implement here. No need to implement any graph or anything. And the code starts, as I said previously, with the connected vents list, which contains all the connected vents and the current vent ID, which is the player at right now. And the class contains three regions. The first region is the awake region, which contains a small function to set up all the vents in that system. Just goes through all the vents and give each one a unique ID. Next region is the triggers region. And as we know in the game, we can enter the vent and exit them by using a UI button. And this region controls that button. And here we have two simple functions. The first one is called when the player enters the trigger of a vent in that vent system. And the second one is triggered when the player exits. So when the player enters that vent, that vent sends a notification to the vent system with that vent ID. And here, the vent will just make the UI vent button interactable and remove all listeners to clear it up and add a listener to a function called enter into the vent system we will come to it right now and the, when the player exits the next function will just make the button interactable to false which will not be able the player to enter that vent so it's simple as that all you have to do here is just make the button interactable with the right function or not now let's move to the third and final region and here we can find three main functions the enter the vent function, exit from the vent function, and move between vents function. The first one is the entering function, which is called when the player hits a UI button, and this function will just disable the player, move it to the main vent, and add a listener to the button instead of, the ent of this function to enter it, add the listener to the function to exit the vent system. And in the exit function, we do the opposite. We remove the player from the vent, set its position, and move all the listeners from the button, and switch the function to enter the vent function instead of the exit the vent function. So now the button is flipped, and when they enter, it's flipped again. So if we can see this in the gameplay, it's working perfectly. The player now we can enter the vent and exit the vent just by pressing the button, 
ignore the arrows right now we're coming right to that so now as we know to move between vents in the game we need to press the little arrows around the main vent the player in right now to move to the next vent and here we have this small function move to vent which is called by pressing the buttons on that arrows that will be programmed in the in the final component the arrow manager but just to finish the vent system in this code all we have to do is this function we just get the vent id or the next vent id we swap it with the current vent id and set the position of the player to that vent so this will move the camera also and we got the arrow managers to reset the arrows and say to them okay we are at new vent just generate the new arrows and this will take us immediately to where to our final component which is the arrow manager and the arrow manager is the script that is responsible in setting the arrow buttons and each button to which vent it will go so let's go and explain the script here our main function is vent entered this code when the vent system is entered by the player or when the player is moved to a new vent and this function all it have to do is get the vent system get the current id of the vent that the player currently at and the list of all the connected vent from that vent system and now we just go through all the connected vents and set an arrow between the main vent that we are right now and the next vent and to set that arrow it's coming to our next function the set arrow function this function is pretty simple, it takes a vent position, the next vent position and the vent id. To get started, we get an arrow from the arrows list, activate it and set its rotation to the angle between the vent position and the next vent position. And this allows us to make the arrow point at the next vent position. Last thing we have to do here is set the button on that arrow. Remove so the function before or the listeners and add now the move to vent function from the vent system as we spoke before about it and we just pass to it the vent id or the next vent id that we want to go to so now each arrow points at the next vent and have on its button a listener to call the vent system with the id of the vent we want to go to it's simple it's compact and it works the final function in this component is just a reset arrow function that remove all the arrows and reset all the buttons and we call it when the player exits the vents. Now to set it up on Unity, all we need to do is add an arrows panel on the canvas, contain an arrows body with each and button component on them. And the arrow panel of course should have the arrow manager system class. Next to set the vent system, we need a parent game object containing the vent system class. Next we need to add childs to it and those are vents classes. Each one of them should have the vent class and a trigger collider. After that, we need to add those childs to the parent game object in the connected list. And now we have simply everything working. And of course, we don't need to forget about the vents UI button. Just put it in the canvas and then add it to the vents system. So now if we go into Unity and try to test it out, it works amazingly and the same as game. We enter the vent by using a button, the big vent button. And when we are inside the vent, we use these small arrows to move between vents and vent. It's working perfectly and I love this challenge. I need to remind everyone that the code is fully commented and available on my GitHub page, link in the description down below. It was an amazing thing to do and I really like the game in general. So guys, if you have any cool mechanics from this game you want to see coded, just let me know in the comments down below. The game in general is pretty simple. It's from the movement system to the mini games to everything but the venting system stood out for me so I really wanted to code it out so please let me know I'm waiting your answers and if you made it this far thanks so much for watching and please consider subscribing and don't forget to join our kingdom over on discord if you want just to make friends share your game development progress or just hang out that's your place in the end don't forget to like share and subscribe farewell and see you all in an next adventure